Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the glow-in-the-dark laser pointers. As always, adult supervision is required. Remember, avoid direct eye contact with lasers. What you need for this experiment is glow-in-the-dark paint, which I got mine at the local craft store, and I'll show you in the description where I got mine and what kind it is. Um, I also have a, just a regular white flashlight that I pulled out of the closet. And then um, I am also had three different laser pointers I got on Amazon. I got a red, I got a green, um, and then I also have, at the end, I've got a violet one. So turn the lights down a little bit using the green laser, and I've painted that white piece of paper there with the glow-in-the-dark paint. And what you can't see is that uh, when you turn the laser off, it does have a light glow, and it is re reflecting a little bit. So I turn the lights off all the way with the red one, and I'm unable, the same thing happened. I could not see the glow on the camera, but there was a glow. So with the what? Oh, wow. So with the violet one, you can see how well it works. Uh, you just kind of go around and, and, you know, draw any kind of line you want. And it just, uh, you know, sh shows up very well with the violet one. So glow-in-the-dark paint is made up for special molecules called phosphors. To move at a higher energy level, they need energy from photons. When the photons from a light source hit the molecules, they excite the electrons. The energy of the photon is based on the wavelengths. So if you think of a rainbow, red has the least energy and the violet has the most energy. So that was why it was so hard when we couldn't see the red because it has the least amount of energy, where the violet, where it really shows up, is because it has the most energy. Due to the wave particles of light, you have to have a wavelength of light that is shorter than the wavelength of the light of the glow-in-the-dark that is emitting. So that's why blue-violet is works so well. So here we go with a regular flashlight, and it's just white light, and surprisingly it works. And that's because, you know, white light has all colors of the rainbow. So therefore it does have a lot of violet in there, and it's going to be able to work, which is pretty impressive. So here I have a strip that's just made of those, you know, those like those stars you put on your ceiling that glow in the dark. This is just a long strip of it. And when you take the violet laser pointer and you put it onto one of these uh, glow in the dark strips or like a star, it actually really holds the light very well. It's pretty impressive. So I will uh, try to be a little uh, artistic here or spell, spell it out by putting a little kid's fun science here. And you can see it really taking that, that violet laser pointer really just highlights and really uh, soaks in that energy uh, into that uh, glow stick so, uh, or that glow bar, uh, which is pretty impressive. Even when you turn the lights on, you can see it really is hold that energy inside there. and It'll stay in there for a long time, which is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to share and to uh, click thumbs up. And thanks for watching.